Um, so that's a that's that's you know that's going to be a bonus thing for you to do. Now, tip number four is, which is most I feel is most important, and I over the years and being coached by different multi uh, seven figure income earners um, who are awesome with prospecting is focus on them. I know it's hard. I know you're overly excited and you just know that your opportunity, your product, your service is the real deal and this person can't say no to it and you just got to tell them everything. But the key thing is, is to focus on them. You, um, you want to learn more about them. You want to, and you do this by getting them to talk about themselves. Now, who in their right mind does not like to talk about themselves? Whether you admit it or not, you know that you like when the attention is on you and you're talking about yourself. Um, you might not have to talk so much, but again, most people like when and feel like they're being, um, that someone's really being genuine and someone's taking interest in them when a person is asking about them, getting to know more about them and really taking an interest in what they're saying. And that's something that you have to do with your business. And this will also help you avoid throwing up on your prospects because you're so focused on getting to know them. And you will, in the course of getting to know them, you will also learn um, more about them and get a key insight as to if there's someone that you really want to partner with. Now you got to keep in mind that especially when you're prospecting someone to bring them on board into your organization, this is a business partnership. So you have to build a foundation and a friendship and a relationship with your prospect. You have to get to know them. You have to um, see if they have the key qualities that you want on your team and and that's very important that you do focus on them so that you're able to do this and if you're during the whole conversation you're talking about my company xyz does this they have this they've been established for this long and they research these products and we have these services and this and this and this you're not talking about the prospect you're you're so focused on bringing that person into your business that you're not taking the time out to get to know them to know if they even like if they even like the industry that you're in or if they even you know are someone that you can truly work with are they someone that you can see yourself partnering with for years and years to come so you have to take the time out to truly um, get to know them and another thing is you want to get them as we say playing ball with you and a key example is um, okay for example when you first start a conversation you go hi John how are you doing today and John says I'm doing fine how are you I'm doing great thanks for asking so what can I do for you what can I do to assist you John oh I have a lot of things going that I need assistance with what exactly can you assist me with and then you know and so forth and so you, you keep going back and forth and you'll continue to um engage in a deeper conversation when you're taking the time out to ask each other questions and you guys kind of what we say play ball so to speak um and again you want to make the conversation about him or her about your prospect but at the same time you want to remain in control over the conversation now the key thing to remember is the person that asks the most questions is the one in control of the conversation so you are the interviewer you need to remain in control by you keeping the questions by you remaining being the one asking all the questions because remember you're trying to find out if this is someone that you want to partner with and you do that again by asking the questions now um there are some uh other things too that i also learned you know when you talk too much and you're giving your your prospect way too much information without developing that relationship with them it will kill and i mean it it will kill your business now i've i mean i've done several different opportunities and where i was taught to um talk okay we have our script and we say this we ask oh we ask maybe three or four questions about them and then we go into company xyz is this and we done this and we did this and this and this and this and this and the whole conversation 15 20 minutes 30 minutes later i'm still talking about the business and uh, you don't want to do that you want to spend your interview about talk getting to know them just think about it when you in the traditional world when you go on a job interview do you do the does the company sit there 
and go, uh, company XYZ is this, and we do this, and we've been in business this long. No, when, before you even go into that interview, it is your job to do the research on that company, and you have to sell yourself on being a good quality prospect or candidate to join that company or to join that team or whatever. So same thing should be taken in, in consideration into account for your own business. It's the same exact thing. So don't sit there and spend the whole conversation when you're first um, you know, qualifying a prospect to make sure there's someone that you want to work with, spending that entire time talking about your business and focusing on, on your business. You wanna focus in on them and again, not overloading. You wanna refrain from overloading your prospect with all that information. You um, and also at the same time, if you're if this is someone that you're speaking with that's going to join your business, you don't want to overcomplicate things and make them think that oh my gosh, this I have to talk this much or I have to do all this that she just did. I'm not going to be able to do this business. You want to have that sense of simplicity. Um, you want to um, have things as simplified as you want because you don't want to talk too much which it will be a major discouraging factor for your prospect you want to make sure you keep it simplified and um, make sure uh, make it easy for your your prospect to relate and to um, to think that they can truly partner with you and when you're talking way too much about your opportunity or your product or your service it makes that person on the other end feel gosh i have to go through all this to do this or gosh i have to go through all this just to earn some money oh i don't want to do this and you don't want that to happen so you want to again keep the focus on them um for myself when i'm prospecting i if, if I really, really like the person, the most I spend on the phone with them is 15 minutes, the first conversation. Um, and so if you're someone that's calling leads or if you're someone that, you know, generate leads on your own and you're on the phone with them, you don't want to spend the entire conversation talking about the business. You want to make sure that this person is qualified to be on your team. You have to position yourself as a leader and as someone that's truly looking for a person that has the integrity, that has the level of knowledge or skill set or whatever are the qualities that you're looking for, the passion, the drive. And you can't find those things out by talking about your business the entire time when you're on the phone with a prospect. And even just asking three questions to a prospect is not enough. You need to really get to know them. Just think about when you meet someone on the street you know when you just meet someone if you're sitting on the bus or if you're at a party or if you're anywhere you know park or something you don't talk about your business that's like bad etiquette and you don't sit there and do that you get to know them you ask them questions about themselves you don't go on and on about your business or whatever you go on and on about asking them and engaging in a conversation where you're getting to learn more about that prospect so the same thing goes for your business and you have to and i know i'm going on and on about this but this is how important this key tip is is you have to focus on them Take some time out and look at the things that you typically ask your prospect and, and see if it's enough. Talk to someone that's not in your business, like a friend or something, and ask them the questions that you've been asking people during the course of the um, uh, your interviews and seeing if that's you know if that's really good or not. It you have to focus on them, ask them questions. You want them to spill their beans and you want to really get to the core of why they are searching or or why they need this product or why they need a service remember you are a problem solver you are a solution provider and that's what you you have to find out what their problem is so that you can solve it and you can't you won't be able to effectively do that if during the entire course of the conversation or interview you're talking about your when you have all business. those third-party tools to to utilize to to give that information so you don't need to go through all those things while you're talking on the phone with your prospect so um, my advice again to you is to mainly take the time out to get to know this person that you're trying to um, get to join your opportunity uh, you keep the focus on them have a guide, have a script or whatever to use as a guide to keep all your thoughts and details in an organized format. And make sure you use that KISS rule, keep it short and simple. Well, I hope today's message um, 
brought to you all the things that I use to avoid throwing up on my prospects. And I hope that you understand the key importance of not throwing up on your prospects and that this is truly a key it, this is truly essential and a key to your success in your business now um, if you like what you heard from me today and um, you um, are truly benefiting from it please I welcome your feedback go ahead and post a comment on this video on whatever video marketing site is it's on such as YouTube um, if you're on my blog at countrysmith.com please provide me with some feedback and contribute to the community also go ahead and and share this with your friends your other networkers and um, or anyone else that you think can benefit from this information on Twitter on YouTube on MySpace on Facebook and I, I will so greatly appreciate it and um, again, I look forward to assisting you soon and um, take care until the next video. Get excited, stay excited, get out there and get into action and go get the job done. Bye for now.